Karen Jekyll Life. Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today in this video tutorial we are going to discuss decision table or we also call it as decision matrix. So guys, if you have seen my previous video, I discussed what is a decision tree. Okay, so today in this tutorial, we are going to discuss what is a decision table. Okay, so then we are going to make a decision table for a real world scenario that is for a library system. So guys, for the full lecture, all of you stay tuned. So guys, the first thing which comes is the definition. What is a decision table? Okay, so what is a decision table? As I said, it is a table or a matrix. Basically, what is a table? It is a collection of rows and columns okay so when we can represent okay all the decision points in a system okay and all the actions related to those decisions in form of a table in form of a table then we call it as decision table okay so suppose we have a system so in our day-to-day -day working of our, uh, of our system so there are many decision points where we have to decide whether we have to do this or we have to do that okay first we decide here either this or this and if it is this then what is the action if it is this then what is the action so if we can represent this information in form of a table so we call it as decision table so guys basically decision table is divided into four parts so we have conditions and we have actions and then we have condition entries and then we have action entries we are going to do this in detail so here in the this part all the possible conditions we put okay for example so in last uh, for the decision tree we did the example of library so what are the different what were the different conditions of library either the person who comes to borrow a book is either he's a teacher or he's a student or he's a visitor okay so either he need to borrow a book or he need to return a book so while returning a book whether he's delay in returning the book so all these possible conditions will be mentioned here so based upon these conditions what actions we can take will be mentioned here okay so then here will be the different combinations of conditions and what action we will take for those combinations of conditions so and what we will call this thing we will call this thing as a decision table so guys now we are going to take example of our library system okay so what are the rules of a library or we also call them business rules of library so i will list out the rules and from then those rules we are going to make a decision table now guys this is our library policies i have discussed it in the previous video quickly i'll discuss it again okay so this is the library policy or library rules okay a teacher can take a book for full semester okay a student can take a book for two weeks a visitor can take a book for one week okay after submitting a security deposit okay so these are the rules so who can take the book for how much time okay now if the book is not available for example a teacher or a student goes okay and that book is not available then they can reserve the book means when the book comes please notify me okay so this is available only for teacher and student visitor cannot reserve a book okay so then after these these are the rules while getting a book issued so these are the rules while getting a by returning a book if there is a delay then student is fined 50 rupees if student is delayed returning the book then we find him 50 rupees if there is a delay by the visitor then he is fined 100 rupees if visitor is uh, delaying so then we find him 100 rupees okay so after the visitor returns the book okay his security deposit is refunded so when the book is returned by the visitor then we refund his security deposit okay if it is a delay then we find him and refund him if there is no delay simply we take the book back and we refund his security deposit now guys these are the library 
rules. Now, in your exam or in the case study or in your system when you are preparing, okay, so you have to, so when you get the rules, so you have to identify two things which are very important. First thing are the conditions and second things are the actions. Now, here, if you look at these rules, okay, a teacher, a student, a visitor, if a book is not available, if there is a delay, okay, so all what are these? These are the conditions, okay. So for teacher, we have a separate rule. For student, we have a separate rule. If there is a delay, then we have a separate rule. So all these you have to identify as conditions. Normally, they will be with if. Even if there is no if, even then you can identify. There is one rule based upon the teacher, one rule based upon the student. So all these will fall under the category of conditions. Okay. So then you have to identify the actions. Now, Take book for full semester. This is what it is an action. Take book for two weeks. What is this? Taking book for two weeks. Again, it is verb. It is an action. Okay. Take book for one week and submit security deposit. You are doing something. You are taking book for one week and you are giving a security deposit. Okay. Reserve a book. What is this? Again, this is an action. Pay fine. What is this? This is an action. Pay fine again. Okay. So then, and what are this? All these. The security refunded. Here you give the security. What is that? Is deposit security? That is action. Then refund the security. That is also an action. So what are these? These are conditions. I'll put it with C C C. Conditions. What are these? These are actions okay so guys so before you make a decision tree a uh, decision sorry decision table identity take the business rules always there will be some business rules and from those business rules you need to identify what are the conditions and what are the actions then all the conditions we identify we put them in the conditions tab and all the actions we identified we will put them in the action stub okay so then we will put the corresponding entries for conditions and for actions now in the next part of this video i am going to do that now guys if you look at this i hope this is legible you can read it if you look at this this is our decision table structure for our library policy okay here are the conditions now i will read it quickly whether you are a teacher or you are a student or you are a visitor okay so whether all of this and you are here to get a book issued whether book is available or not whether you are here to return a book or there is a delay while you are returning a book so delay will not work when we have to get a book issued okay and available not available will not work when we are here to return a book okay so we have to take only the relevant condition combinations some conditions are relevant some combinations are irrelevant for example what is relevant if a person is a teacher yes then he cannot be a student he cannot be a visitor no 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 so that is a relevant combination and what is a irrelevant combination a person is a teacher yes a person is a student yes we put them all in one entry that is irrelevant if whether either you will be a teacher or you will be a student or you will be a visitor but you all cannot be all three so we have to identify the relevant combinations and the actions so now here there is a lot of confusion some of the authors they tell you to make a decision table and they tell you to cover all the condition alternatives okay and out of them some are relevant some are irrelevant first they will make you write all then they tell you okay leave the irrelevant keep the relevant which makes this process very difficult okay so you do not have to do that way so what you have to do is 
so only identify the relevant condition entries the different combinations of the conditions which are relevant to the system and remove all the irrelevant combinations it will save your space it will save your time it will save your effort and it will remove a lot of confusion okay and again what is a relevant combination a person is a teacher yes he cannot be a student he cannot be a visitor a person has came person came to the library to get a book issued yes then this return becomes irrelevant and delay also becomes irrelevant isn't it so you have to identify the relevant combinations okay so now let us do it okay so what was the rule one if a teacher comes to get a book issued okay so he can get a book issued for one full semester a person comes to a library he is a teacher yes is he a student no is he a visitor no what he is here for he is here to get a book issued yes if a book is available okay yes then is he here to return a book no okay so if he is not here to return a book so then the delay becomes irrelevant the de delay becomes irrelevant important like this so teacher can get a book issued if the book is available for how many days teacher can get a book issued he can get it for full semester this is the action so these are the condition combination teacher yes want to get a book issued yes book is available yes so then what he gets he gets book for full semester so what is another rule teacher yes student no visitor no wants to get a book issued yes book is available no book is available no so return no because delay irrelevant now book is not available then what he comes he can reserve a book then what is the action if book is available he can get it for full semester if book is not available he can reserve a book i hope you are getting it okay now let us do so how teacher can return a book let us do teacher yes student no visitor no get a book issued no okay so if you are not here to get a book issued available not available does not matter return yes return yes now in case of teacher also delay does not matter because there is no rule for teacher for delay so simply so he is here to return a book so then what simply there is action return a book no fine for teacher so this is the action for this combination of conditions now let us go to student a person is a student so he cannot be a teacher student yes visitor no get a book issued yes book is available yes wants to return a book no delay irrelevant is it if you are not here to whether it is delay or not delay does not matter so student can get a book issued for how many days he can get it issued for two weeks he can get it issued for two weeks okay so now let us see when the book is not available for the student teacher no student yes visitor no when a person is a student he cannot be a visitor get a book issued yes book is available no return irrelevant delay er, no delay becomes a now book is not available then what he can do is he can reserve a book this is the action now let us see he comes to return a book what happens teacher no student yes visitor no get a book issued no available becomes because you are not irrelevant return yes delay no okay so he came to return a book and there is no delay so simply what he does he returns a book without paying any fine now suppose he delayed then what happens teacher no student yes visitor no 
book issued no available not available does not matter return yes delay yes if the student delays then what happens he has to pay rupees 50 fine and then book is returned he has to pay 50 rupees fine and then the book is returned okay now let us come to the visitor a visitor is a, not a teacher no he is not a student no he is a visitor yes book he wants to get a book issued yes book is available yes so he doesn't want to return it no delay irrelevant so now he is a visitor book is available he wants to get a book issued then what he can do what he can do he can take book for to one week and he has to deposit the security amount now this is the security amount okay so he gets a book for one week and he deposits the security amount so guys normally because of lack of space okay so you can put lines like this which it, which will make it easy to understand it okay now let us come to the visitor who wants to return a book because visitor cannot a visitor cannot reserve a book so not available is not relevant for him okay he cannot reserve a book so then teacher no student no visitor yes he wants to get a book issued no so if no then available not available becomes return yes delay yes now he wants to return the book and there is a delay so when there is a delay then what happens pay 100 rupees fine isn't it refund his security when he returns the book and return the book so what happens is the visitor delayed visitor delayed so he has to pay 100 rupees fine he can return the book book is returned and his security is refunded okay again when there is a no delay by the visitor so then teacher no student no visitor yes issue no available doesn't available does not matter return yes delay no now he wants to return the book and there is no delay so then what action is we refund the security and the book is returned we refund the security and the book is returned so guys now what we get here is what we get maybe there is some combination of conditions which i may have missed maybe you can identify them so but basically this is going to be the decision table so what it has conditions condition entries means different combination of conditions then it has actions and it has action entries what action must be taken based upon the different relevant combinations of conditions so guys i hope you understand i hope you understand so this was our decision table this was our decision table so guys again if you like my lectures please subscribe to my channel i'll be uploading more and more lectures related to different topics of information technology for example from system analysis and design operating system advanced operating system then then comes your computer organization and digital electronics and much more so guys if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel and all of you thanks for watching and stay tuned